Hey everyone, welcome back to the Max Mundo Kitchen. Uh, today's recipe is a home remedy. It's probably something that almost everyone has used all over the world. It's sold everywhere and it's for Vicks VapoRub. Um, who hasn't been sick and you have this awful congested feeling, you can't breathe, you feel horrible, you can't sleep, and then you have this wondrous cream rubbed on your chest, on your back, and all of a sudden you feel like, yes, I'm finally resting. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to make it at home. It's super easy. It's a really, really cheap way um, to make it. It saves a lot of money and it's just as helpful as, as the stuff you can buy in the pharmacy. So let's get started. The ingredients you need to make your homemade Vicks uh, Vapo Rub are a quarter of a cup of coconut oil, 15 drops of eucalyptus essential oil, and 10 drops of peppermint essential oil. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to point out, isn't it cool that you just need three ingredients to make your homemade Vicks Vaporu? I mean, it's really, really, really amazing. The vapor rub we use is, I mean, you can get it in pharmacies, but for example, here in Switzerland, let's say you get sick on a weekend where things are closed. If you have these things at home, you can make it yourself and it's so handy and I like the homemade version more. I know what's going in there and it's my favorite. So basically what you guys need is a bowl, and in this bowl we're going to put hot water. Um, I'm going to be using a glass measuring cup. My measuring cup is a bit big, it doesn't show the quarter cup, so I'm going to, I measured in one of these and I'm just gonna pour it into here. And once I have just a little bit of hot water in the bowl, I'm gonna sit the measuring cup with the coconut oil in there so it starts melting. Just mix it with a spatula or a spoon, and as soon as it melts, we're going to add our essential oils. So you're just going to put in your 15 drops of eucalyptus and your 10 drops of peppermint. You mix well, and once you're done mixing, you're going to pour it straight away into any um, sealed container you have. It can be little jars, little cosmetic um, boxes, little Tupperware, anything you want to use as long as it has a lid that seals um, well. And after that, you just have to let it cool down and get solid again. Okay, so we are done making our homemade VIX. Um, as you guys saw, it's super easy, super fast, and uh, with the quarter of a cup of coconut oil, I managed to make these three little uh, jars. Now it's solid, so it's ready to use. It's really, I mean, even this little one, it's super handy to have in your purse or your pocket. It won't take any space. And as you know, you don't really need to put loads. It's just a little bit on your chest, on your back, on the soles of your feet wherever you feel you need some sort of comfort because Vicks Vaporu is really good to help you feel better. Um, in the description box, I'll write down what these things are good for in case you have any interest of, of knowing why it helps uh, make you feel better. And if not, well, you already know how to make it, which is the important thing. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe and to share. Maybe one of your friends or family members may be needing this uh, really practical homemade recipe for this. So I'll see you guys in the next video.